Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I am super freaking excited going into this video. I really don't have much of an intro because today we are going to be checking out a ton of products from Kimchi Beauty, and you guys, this is a video, okay, I have been planning for so long. I actually picked up all of this back on, I want to say maybe Black Friday or right around there. They had a sale on their website where it was buy one, get one free, and I figured with a sale like that, okay, like this is my opportunity. This is the time to shine, and so I went through and I picked up pretty much everything. The only thing that I really personally wasn't that interested in um, were the eyeshadow palettes, and that's just because, I, like, personally, you guys know I test out a ton of makeup. And when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I'm just kind of in, like, a funk right now. So I figured instead of eyeshadow, we would play around with these. I picked up three shades of the Superb Cream Shadows, and I just thought these looked beautiful. And then in addition to that, I figured I would pick up one of the glitter shards. This is actually a glitter liquid shadow, and this is kind of like, I think, a top coat or something you can put, you know, drape it over the eye type situation, so I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed in here somewhere like a little holographic topper set. Uh, yes, it's their holographic. That's exactly what it is. It's a holographic topper for your eyes, cheeks, lips, and body. And there's just four shades in here, but they looked super duper beautiful. So I figured we could go through, play around with that, maybe do a little inner corner. Just, you know, at the very least, watch it, take a look, feel the formula, all the good things. But anyways, okay, we're going to get into the video. I don't need to sit here and go through every single product, uh, but I'm really, really excited for this video. I hope you guys like it too. This isn't one of those. I'm not going to try to be a YouTuber that was like, oh, I had so many requests because I definitely didn't. Okay, this is like my genuine curiosity, and I figured if I was curious about the bronzer, the blushes, you know, the highlights, all that stuff, I thought maybe you guys would be too. So I thought we would just put it out there, see what y'all think. Let me know down below in the comments. Do you like these kind of videos? Just, you know, testing out one brand. I haven't done one in a while. I think the last time, I know for sure I did a Patrick Ta one, which I will link up here. Oh, and of course the usual, okay, before we leave, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, uh, because I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually right around like 7, 7.30-ish, AM, my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So again, make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notification. And then of course, if you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it. Do you see how I just <laughs> like snuggle right in for this? Um, I would really appreciate it if you take a second, go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, but I am still trying to hit 10,000 followers over there. And if you're new or you don't know, I put up a lot of content in the IG stories. We do unboxings, we hang out, we go for walks and polls and all that kind of stuff. And then also in the feed, I put up a lot of plus size fashion, makeup reels. Just overall, what you need to know is that there's a lot of content. I am over there a ton. And anytime I want to know something about the channel or if you want to see previews of what the channel is going to have That's definitely the place to find them because I share everything over there because I can't help myself So make sure you check that out again Everything will be listed down below Anyways, with that. Let's go ahead Let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, you guys So while I'm good and zoomed in I did go ahead off of camera and just prime with a little bit of my Tatcha liquid silk canvas And while that's just getting nice and settled in I wanted to test out this little candy lip mask and this is in what is this? This is in pink sour punch according to the side right here because by the way all of the packaging I really love this it all has um, a little how to use on it so if you're wondering you know about the product or if you're confused or even like what the perks of it are this will kind of give you some info it says on the side of the packaging here that this is uh, a, an innovative way to mask it's designed to moisturize your lips and keep them hydrated you apply it to clean bare lips which girl mine are nice and squeaky clean and they're also feeling a little bit crusty busty so this will be perfect it does say to do it ideally at night which obviously I'm not doing because I wanted to save it for the video and it says applies flawlessly with the attached wand. It will soothe and moisturize your lips for a soft, supple pout and that you will wake up with your lips as soft as cotton candy. And bitch, I don't know about you, but I would love that, okay? Because it's winter and my lips need it. They feel like little crazily little prunes. All right, so let's just start off first here. Let's give her a little snap. This doesn't smell at all like pink sour punch. What? Hold on, wait a second. This smells like a, more like a chemical, like a, like a glue. <laughs> I think more so than it does pink sour punch. Maybe that's just like the cute color name or something. Am I sure this isn't? It smells almost identical to like a lash glue, like that kind of intensity. This is a gloss, right? Like it's supposed to go on my lips. So I'm just double checking. This is the lip mask. Yes, the candy lips lip mask. All right. All right. I'm just double checking because it's kind of really giving me strong uh, lash glue vibes, but we're just going to go for it. Just get it nice and coated on. Okay, so it looks pretty nice, like on the lips, if you wanted to wear it as, you know, a light little glossy moment. It has a, a nice sheen to it. Now, I will say the taste of it, not my favorite. It's definitely transferring from that smell a little bit, a little bit strong and chemically. But uh, so far, I mean, it's definitely dissipating. So I think it's something that after a couple of minutes, it would go away. All right. So also, too, before I go in with concealer, I wanted to layer down some of this. These are the Kimchi Glam Tears. And it says that it's basically a liquid glittery kind of highlight. You can place it on your cheeks, your eyes, or anywhere on your body. Or you can mix it with your foundation and just to, you know, get that glow from within kind of look. But for me, ooh, that looks 
looks kind of gorgeous. Um, it's just obviously a standard dropper application here, but I thought for me it would be fun to go in because I don't really like to mix stuff in with my foundation, at least not lately. Um, so I thought it would be nice to go in and just do a little bit like on the upper cheekbone, see how it looks like with the uh, foundation over top of it. Oh, wow. That, that was a lot. Okay. Probably, probably could relax a little, ma'am. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say, a little bit definitely goes a long, long way. Don't you don't don't need to be going in all crazy. Uh, I didn't think I did, but like, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, did I ever! All right, I look like a unicorn. All right, now getting into the actual product itself, I'm actually not mad at the texture of this. Like, if you're into that really intense glitter, I really appreciate the fact that um, the glitter itself isn't like a part of a chunky medium. It actually has a really nice, smooth consistency base to it that settles into your skin and like presses in and it doesn't leave much, uh, if any, surface texture other than obviously the glitter that's there. All right, now going into the next part here, we're going to go into concealer before foundation. That way we can see what kind of coverage this gives just by itself. And I did pick this up in two shades, obviously. We have peachy ivory and regular ivory, it looks like. As far as the application for these, if you're not familiar, it's more of a like squeezy pen up to a brush tip right here. So you just squeeze out and bloop, bloop, there is the concealer. So let's go ahead and just do a little swatch. This is again, the shade Ivory. I definitely think now after seeing it that this is probably my shade for sure. Uh, but let's give it, ooh. Okay, blend, feels nice, coverage looks gorgeous. It is very, very, very light, but I, I'm not mad at that. Y'all know I love a light concealer. I just love that bright under eye. All right, so here is peachy ivory next to the regular ivory, and this is definitely very, very baby pink. It's like almost the same color actually as my shirt. <laughs> like that, that's the level where we're at, which by the way, if I can, I will link this shirt down below. It's from the Torrid like soft collection. Oh my God, it is so, so soft and so luxurious. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out some of this concealer. This is just in the shade ivory, and I didn't add a ton because I really want to see what the, oh, 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 I want to see what the coverage is. Um, and holy bejesus. Okay, so we definitely have uh, a good spreadability, which I appreciate. The coverage is actually looking pretty nice. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take some of that concealer and run it through the normal areas I put concealer. Wow. <laughs> wow, that, that's a look. Um, which is just my under eyes right here and through the T-zone and a little bit along the jawline. I'm just going to take and really blend that out. Normally with concealers like this one that have a thicker texture, um, I, I tend to have a really hit or miss relationship with, so we'll definitely see like in terms of the wear and the settling and all of that, how it works. But so far, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't stop looking at myself. Um, but so far, I'm actually really impressed with the fact that, um, that I have been able to, you know, work this around as easily as I have, because I feel like with the thicker texture, a lot of times it gets stuck in like my under eye bags, my crevasses, my pores, my big old beefy man pores. And uh, I'm just really happy with the way that this one seems to be moving around the face. It's working really well so far. Now for foundation, obviously I don't have any from Kimchi Beauty, so I'm just going to go in really quickly with the Clinique Even Better Serum Foundation, and this is in the shade CN08 Linen. And this is a foundation, by the way, that I have talked about several times, both on here in what should have been Monday's video. I'll link it up here. Um, and I've also talked about it and did a little uh, reel for it over on Instagram. So if you have any questions or you're curious, make sure you go check those out. But I think for this, what I'm actually going to do is go in and apply it to the areas, kind of Scott Barnes style and use this to fill in where I don't have concealer. I just reshaped like right on the uh, bottom side right here just because I wanted it to be a little bit more defined. I actually really love the way that these are blending together which is great because a lot of matte concealers like if they're if they're an overly matte really intense um, dry down they don't want to mix well with anything and so I'm really happy that all of that, that's like blending really, really nicely. Going into the powder, I picked up the Set and Bake powder. This is the Puff Puff Pass powder, and it is in the shade, I just love the names of everything. This is in the shade PPP, or Puff Puff Pass, 02, a shade Banana. Oh my God, the packaging, you guys. I love this so much. How adorable, the powder comes in like this little tissue paper. This is freaking cute. All right, so here is the packaging of the actual container. Not mad at it. It looks to be a very, very finely milled powder. Let's go ahead here. Oh, and it comes with a poof. Y'all know. Oh, and it feels like a nice ass poof. Oh, 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 bitch loves a good poof. Right, let's go ahead and shake some of this. Woo, let's shake some into the lid. Maybe put the lid on all the way. Shit. Um, but let's, oh man, made a mess again, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead here first and repress out these under eye bags, because y'all know every every concealer ever to exist on my face has settled into my under eye bags. That is not new. Um, so I'm just gonna take here, repress it out, and then I'm gonna go in with my sponge first, just to lay down this first uh, layer. 
Oh, oh yeah, she's a fine mill, all right. She's the oh, she's the kind of fine that she's the kind of fine that really just gets into your lungs. That that level of fine, okay? Just you know, press it in. All right, now with that layer down, which again I use just the wet sponge to really press it into the concealer and set it. But now I'm gonna move on and actually do a little bit of baking. And for that, I'm just gonna use the little puffer here that came with this. And I'm gonna use that to really deposit some powder up under the eyes. I actually really like this puff, damn. Get me a nice little coating. And then I'm also gonna run just a little bit here along the jawline just to keep that area nice and bright where I put the concealer. Now while that's just sitting there and baking, before I go in and set everything down, I thought this would be a good time to run through the um, swatches of the other stuff that I picked up for the face. Starting off with the bronzer. This is the Taylor bronzer and it is in the shade uh, 01. I went to Malibu. <laughs> I love that. I just love the names of all this. All right, so the bronzer definitely comes off with a little bit of like a peachy orange kind of undertone, which is interesting. Um, but we will see, obviously, if it warms up to my skin, if it'll work or if it won't, because I've noticed that a lot of times, or maybe it's just a me thing, but there are so many times I have purchased bronzers in the past, and, like, I'll buy them, and they look beautiful, the swatches look amazing, the tones, everything is spot on, but then for some reason, once I put it on my skin, it, like, turns orange or pink or some weird-ass other color, and I don't, again, I don't know if that's a me thing, but uh, obviously, we will test it out. But from there, we do gotta talk about this freaking blush, you guys. This packaging is so cute. I picked up the, what is this? This is in 03 Grace, and if memory serves these are actually a two-tone blush oh my god look Ugh. look at how freaking gorgeous you guys it has this beautiful shimmery ass blush over here and then this really nice like champagne pink shade oh and the texture is great okay let's go ahead and swatch both all right so here are the swatches this one obviously is like the more intense coral side and then this is just a very very light pink but they are really really pretty the texture is quite nice i like the blend i think it'll be interesting because those actually have in real life quite a sheen to them. Um, like the bronzer has more of a satin finish, which I'm not mad at. I love a matte or a satin bronzer, but with these, there's definitely a little bit of like a shimmery situation. So it's kind of a, I don't know, I'm kind of apprehensive, but it could also look really beautiful. Okay. And then finally here we have the, um, highlight. This is the Taylor Get Glow highlight in the shade 03 Hollywood Glow. And this, I just, oh my God, first of all, this purple package, are you kidding me with how cute this is? And I'm sorry, but do you see these colors? I love that I just keep holding it closer and closer to the camera. Like, yes, you, you can see them, Paige. You can probably see it better back here, but I just keep wanting to really just show it to you. Shove it right in your eyeball. Ooh, and they're actually really pretty, and I'm shocked that they're as different as they are. You can really see the difference between the pinky side and the golden side. Okay, and then finally from there, I also picked up, just, you know, because highlights were kind of calling my name this night, I picked up their Pearl Gone Wild. This is their Out of This World Brilliant Shine in the shade 01 Hope. Oh, and honey, this looks, look, it looks iridescent. Oh my God, that looks so, so freaking stunning. It's like actually, it's making my face on the camera like the, it's throwing off the white balance. That's how stunning this is. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize this was quite so iridescent um, when I purchased it, but that is so gorgeous. If you're into like this blue esque, you know, type highlight, it's really, really nice. It does have um, kind of a glittery look on the skin, but I think that if, you know, this is the vibe you're going for, you want it to be that wet, dramatic, or even, ooh, to pair the two of these together, the thing I already used like first on the face and some of this. Yo, that, that right there would give you a hell of a Blue Lagoon kind of moment. That's really, really pretty. Again, I will say not necessarily something that I would gravitate towards, but it is a really pretty texture, and I love the fact that it looks so, like, glossy and so wet when I swatch it. That's nice. All right, so I think that the baking has set long enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it here. I don't wanna leave it on for too long and make my whole face dry out. And then I'm also taking just a teeny bit here of the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Matte Setting Powder. This is in the shade 150. And I'm taking this just in the areas where I didn't have that kimchi powder. Just make sure everything is nice and set down. All right, now next up here, I'm gonna start going in with the bronzer. And I'm taking this on my old <laughs> Busty crusty Bronzer Brush here because I wanna make sure that I have all the control I possibly can have just in case, just in case it's a little bit too much for me. I'm gonna take just, I'm tapping in very, very lightly and then kind of buffing that into the hollows of my cheeks first just to test the water. All right, so, so far so good on the bronzer. I definitely think um, it is leaning a little bit, just a little bit in the orange direction. Um, so if you're seeing that on camera, because I know a lot of times on camera for some reason, in, especially in this room, my bronzer tends to pull orange all the time, even when it's not. So if you are seeing it a little bit orange at the moment, um, that's actually for real this time. I'm not, that, that's not, you're not gonna see editing page popping in being like, oh, it's not orange, because it definitely is leaning that way. All right, now next up, I'm gonna be going in with the blush, and you can definitely see that this one has a pretty decent amount of payoff, so I'm just gonna mix the two sides lightly together 
and go in. I'm gonna actually start a little bit farther back on my chic bone. I was going in really lightly back here just in case it was a little bit too much. That way I could have, you know, worked with it more. I actually, by the way, I'm a huge fan, huge, huge fan of the way that um, that bronzer and that blush are mixing together, like the tone of the blush. I feel like it is, um, it is in fact bringing down the orange of that bronzer. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, guys. I, at first, like, going in with this blush, I was really, really apprehensive because it does have that shimmer factor in it, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it just, you know, really pressed in by itself, but I'm very impressed um, with the level of, like, movement that this has on the skin. Like, it's not so, like, shimmery and intense and highlight. Like, it doesn't have that glitzy factor to it. It actually has more of, like, a satiny texture on the skin. It looks nice and light. And I will say, too, the only thing that I have that's, like, shimmery, glittery, and that I'm really not loving is this, which is still very much so poking through my foundation. Um, and you can see like blue glitter all over the place, like all over here, here, my fortune, it's, it's everywhere. Um, because you guys know, once you go in with glitter, bitch, like she's, she's going to be there for a hot minute. Um, and so right now that's really the only thing that I'm not like obsessed with, but everything else looks beautiful. I don't have any brow products for this video. So I am going to go ahead really quickly here and just go in with my benefit ones. This is the benefit precisely my brow pencil in 3.5. And then I'm going to throw some gel over that and we can move on to the the eyes. All right, so with the brows done, we're going to start busting into these pot de cream shades, and this first one is actually in the shade Emerald City, and oh my god, this color is so go Ooh, super, oh my god, it's so reflective, it's so beautiful, okay. All right, then after that, we have the shade Amethyst, which is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why, but in my mind, I thought that was going to be a little bit more, um, like, of a deeper, more sultry shade, and that's almost like an intense kind of violet type color. That's really pretty. And last but not least here, we have the shade Cashmere, which is just, oh, 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 that one is my jam. It's just a nice neutral brown shade, honey. Yes, please. I think that is so, so gorgeous. I did obviously try to grab a little bit of everything, but God, that is, that, that shade is probably my favorite. I love it so much. And then also, like I said before, I do have the uh, glittery shade. This is in the shade World Dominance, and this is their Diamond Shart, <laughs> which is just a liquid glitter. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it maybe right across the bottom. Ooh, okay, that's really pretty. It's just like a multi-toned um, little sparkly glitter. I know on camera it just shows up kind of white, but if you look up close, it does have like the pink and the blue and the green, just multiple different glitters. Now, it's important to remember if you're used to like the, the ones from Stila, how they have their shimmer and glows, and I believe it's their glitter and glows, uh, because ones like this right here, these have the more opaque base. This would be more like a shimmer and glow, which is, again, more of an opaque base, nice and shimmery. It has that intensity to it, but it's not glittery. It's just a nice shiny effect to the eye versus one like this, which would be more like the Glitter and Glow, a straight up glitter suspended in more of like a clear kind of color. Um, that way you can, you know, kind of just differentiate the uh, between the two. Oh, and I almost forgot too, I wanna swatch this really quickly. This is that holographic topper I was talking about um, because I'm gonna end up using a combination between this and these for all over the eyes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Ooh, these feel fan. Oh my God, that blue shade. Are you kidding? These feel amazing. Is, this, is there like a certain version of this palette or they all just want, I don't know. I'll have everything linked down below. Oh wow. I don't know what I was expecting. Those look stunning. And like, look at that blue one in there. Oh my God. It's like a light, um, kind of like a pale light blue. That's super beautiful. Just reading the box for the how to apply on these cream shades, these three up here. And it says you can apply to lid with the doe foot applicator, which obviously is in the, um, in the twist off top. You blend with finger or a brush for your desired look that shines and sparkles. You can wear them alone over eyeshadow or use with a liquid liner for a thicker, more intense look. And it doesn't say here if I need to have any sort of a base or like a concealer down or anything like that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave my eyelids with just the leftover concealer they have. I'm not going to go add any more because a lot of times I have oily lids and that can make it slip around more. So I think with that, I'm going to actually start off with the shade Cashmere because I want to have more of like a natural-esque look today. Like as far as the eyes goes, I've got a ton of other stuff I have to do today. And I'm going to go in first here with just the brown shade. This is in Cashmere and I'm going to just tap it on. And then like it said on the, uh, the side of the box there, just lightly tap it with with my finger just to blend the edges. And I'm really, really interested in um, the blendability of this. And on the package, you can use your finger or a brush, but I find like for me, at least with products like this, if I can go in and use my finger, it just makes application that much faster. And so it kind of makes it an easier on the go type product for me. And this is actually blending out really nicely. So next up from there, I do want to go into this holographic topper palette. And I'm going to grab the shade Storm, which is like a really beautiful kind of peachy orange color. And I'm just going to lightly tap that 
on the mobile lid just to add a little bit more color. And you know what? This actually went on really well. I'm going to take the shade Amethyst now, now that I trust it a little bit more. And I am going to run just a teeny bit of this along like the lower lash line with my finger. I'm just going to tap it along right there and then blend it out. I don't want it to be super intense, but I just want like that nice little pop. Ooh, that color is super pretty and it actually shears out really, really well. Has a beautiful base color to it, like a nice light pink color. And then when you shear it out, you can build up a little bit more of the shimmer if you want. Oh, I like, I like that. All right, so you guys know anytime, and if you're, if you're new here, you might not know this, but anytime I'm playing around for the first time, a liquid shimmer or a liquid glitter, anything like this, I am a little bit more apprehensive because I have had stuff like this go really bad and like the, the agitation from it has really upset my eyes before. And so anytime I'm playing around with it, I tend to be a little bit more cautious. I will say with these, I, I have a, a safe feeling that I could have went a little bit more intense. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab this glitter one right here and throw this on the lower lash line too. This is in the shade World Dominance. And it's just like I said before, that nice little light glitter. I'm just going to lightly kind of throw that up under the lower lashes as well because it's kind of pretty. And I like that it's just a nice flush of color. Like it doesn't have any uh, pigment to it. So you can actually throw it on over anything and I think it would look really nice. I will say too, as far as the texture of these, like they definitely have a more aggressive dry down. And I really appreciate that even though they have that dry down and they are sitting very nicely, they didn't get like super crackly or flaky or, you know, moving on my lids. Like they just, they kind of sat down, they blended out, but then they stuck. And I really, really like that. I think going in in the future, I definitely would, you know, play around a little bit more, but I'm also not mad at this. I feel like right now I have more of like a monochromatic light little pink look going on between the eyes and the outfit and I really really like that. All right now a little bit of an update for you guys. I was just going through and wiping off my hands getting ready for the next step here and um the base of this green bitch she is not coming off. <laughs> she, she is here to stay so definitely keep that in mind. I think that these could have the potential to stain your lids. Um I, now I didn't see any staining from the other two shades. The pink one went away completely but that green one she's she's wanting to stick around for a hot minute have some tea and cookies so just keep that in mind. All right now next up it's time we're gonna go and finish up the face with highlight and then obviously do mascara and lips. But before I go in with my highlight, I do like to set everything down one last time. And for that, we're going to test out their stage proof matte setting spray. And it says on the side, you've managed to beat on that mug after carefully, 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 Oh, after carefully blending it to perfection. Bitch, yes, I have, okay, and it actually looks very nice. Um, now take this bottle and spritz this magical liquid all over your face to seal that masterpiece. You've worked too hard to let that makeup go anywhere. Bitch, I could not agree more. Okay, let's get in on this. Oh, I love the look of this bottle, though. Like, how cute are you with this green? Okay, Miss Seafoam and Hot Pink. I love, guys, the packaging on all of this, I just think it's so damn cute. Uh, let's go ahead here. First things first, we're gonna test the spray and the smell. I almost just sprayed that dry directly into my damn eyeball. Let's get her going. Ooh, nice. Can you hear that? Nice, fine mist. And it actually has no spray or no smell. It has no spray. It has no smell to it at all. Like nothing. That is, oh my God, this is wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to do a nice light dusting. You know what? Ooh. And I'm not going to lie, guys. That actually looks really nice. It definitely does, like, take away any and all sheen that you had going on. So definitely keep that in mind. All right. So now we have the glasses reinstated to push back the hair. And we are going to do the final face step, which is, of course, the highlight. And for that, I am going to grab this beautiful ass looking highlight again. This is the Taylor Get Glow in 03 Hollywood Glow. And I'm going to apply that with the Wayne Goss 24S. You know what? I think I am just going to mix both sides together because because I really liked the look of them on my hand when I was playing with them that way. So I'm just going to take and kind of buff it in. Ooh, okay. <laughs> might, might, need a, might, need, might need a mirror page because she's looking a little bit more intense. I don't know why in my mind that wasn't going to be as intense, but ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, look at this side. <laughs> look at me. I'm like, does it look any different over here? Look at it. I'm one of those people. I just want to show you all angles of everything. Why? I don't know. I can't help myself. Okay, now I do think as far as the highlight itself, it actually does look really, really nice, but I am noticing that up through here, I'm looking a little bit, not, not so much dry, but I'm just noticing like the texture up in this area is a little bit more intensified than usual. If I had to guess, I think obviously it's because I used a lot more matte products than normal. What with the, you know, concealer, 
then and the powder and the setting spray and all of that. Um, so I definitely think like, it, I mean, in terms of the highlight, it does work nicely, but I am going to have to go in here and liven up my face a little bit. So I'm going to grab just a wee little bit, just, just a wee little bit of my uh, e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder here. I've talked about this in a ton of uh, videos, but I'm just going to take a little bit of this and lightly dust it over the cheeks. This is not only going to give me a glow, but it's going to give a nice blurred look to the skin. And then I'm also going to go ahead as per usual and round out with a little bit of my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray just to help press it all in. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and layer up some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. And I'm just gonna get a couple of coats of this on and then go back in with that highlight and highlight the inner corner and the brow bone. All right, so last up, obviously we have some lips and I have three different products for this because I, just, I had to try all of them. And the first one we have is their Over Gloss. I have this one in the shade Peach Shimmer. It looks like a clear, uh, quite, quite literally a clear peachy shimmer. Ooh. That's really, really reflective. Okay, um, that's much more intense, I would say, than like your standard, your your standard shimmery gloss. And then of course I picked up a brown. Ooh. Yo, that is a freaking beautiful gloss. This is their high key gloss in the shade Earthy, and it is so rich and so opaque. Oh my God, that actually feels like a liquid lipstick. Like that's the level of intensity. That is freaking gorgeous. Okay, that one, that might be my jam. All right, and then last but not least, I did pick up their Plumper. This is the, I'm sorry, Wet With Plumper Gloss. It's just like a regular clear. You can see it right there, but it's supposed to give your lips that nice little pouty plump, I'm assuming. So what I'm gonna do first here is go in, with a nice little layer, ooh, of this brown gloss. Oh my gosh. All right, so obviously I love the color, right? But the texture of this is fan-freaking-tastic. Like, it has such a nice, um, lightweight feel to it. It settles in perfectly, and it's almost like a cross between the perfect satin liquid lipstick in terms of the color and the feel, and a very, very thin, lightweight gloss. I really, really like that. I do want to take just a little bit over top of it here of this plumping gloss, and I'm going to throw it actually on my finger so I don't wreck the wand. I'm just really curious with this one. Ooh, it does add a really, really pretty shine, but I'm really curious if this one's going to be like a super uncomfortable Bernie type gloss. I don't know if I'll be able to get a true read on that because obviously I had that other gloss over top of it, so I might have to update you guys later on that, but the gloss itself is really pretty, and I actually really like the smell. Was there like a nice... Oh my god, there is. It's like a like a light kind of fruity smell to it. I'm not mad at that. All right, you guys, with that, obviously the full face is done. And I have to say, okay, lately I've been on a lot more of like a like a chill, neutral-esque vibe when it comes to my makeup. And so going in and testing a brand like Kimchi Beauty, which is known for, you know, being out there and having all of that fun, the pops of color and whatnot, um, I was a little bit apprehensive because I didn't know if I'd be able to really, um, really use it and like do it justice. But I think it really speaks highly to a product that can be geared so, so intense, but that someone, you know, on the natural, natural side or on the more light makeup day side could still use. Now, I will say there are some products that definitely are not my favorite, like this liquid shimmer right here. Not a huge fan of this, um, just because the glitter particles are a little bit too big for me personally. And I mean, obviously they're iridescent blue, but even past that, I'm just not a huge fan of like that type of a texture on my skin, just because the glitter particles are very, very noticeable. Now, the same goes with this one, just in terms of color. This is that, um, what is that? The Pearls Gone Wild. I really, really love the texture of it, but as far as the iridescent, aspect, like it's being more intense on the blue side. Um, this isn't something I would really reach for as a face highlight, but I would use it as like an all over the eyelid type moment because it is a really, really beautiful powder and it has a nice like movement to it. It looks really, really glossy on the skin. So again, I think there's a lot of little things like that where I might not necessarily love the color or something about it, but overall the products worked really well for me. I do have two other things I want to mention. First of all, giving it up to the favorite right here, this high key gloss in the shade Earthy. This is my favorite thing I tested today. Hands down, I freaking love it. I love the texture, the consistency, the color. Everything about this is so beautiful. One more thing I wanted to mention with this dual highlighter right here, I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I'm noticing as I get down like past this top layer, it does have a little bit more of like a powdery look to it. Like yes, you can buff it into the skin and it gives you more of like a satin type sheen, but it just has a little bit more of a powdery look on the skin, which I think is another reason why like up in this area, it was starting to look a little bit dried out. It's just that this, and I didn't notice it until I actually physically you know, got up close and looked in the pan. It's just that it has a little bit more of a powdery feel once that top layer is gone. And that could just be a me thing, maybe how it's sitting on my skin because I do have more texture up here, but just little things I wanted to note because it is a really pretty highlighter, but it's giving me more of a sheen with kind of that powdery feel to it than it was at first with that, like, you know, that top layer being a little bit more shiny. But all right, you guys, it is now your turn to spout off down in the comments. Do you like this video? Do you like, again, the concept of the one brand tutorial testing things out? Are there any of these products 
you are curious about or that you want to test out, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Of course, like I said at the start, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, all of which I would greatly appreciate. And I will make sure to have all of this linked down below so you can check it out if you want to. And I will also, of course, link all of the other things I'm wearing, necklace, shirt, you guys know the drill. But I think that that's everything, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. As per usual, I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Uh, where are my glasses? Let's go ahead and get into highlight. Highlighter. 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 <laughs> we got a consola and we got another consola and we got a consola and a consola and a consola.